They don't even allow these to th today. They don't even allow these today. He was going to make $2 million. He turned down $2 million. The first beginning, Ray, he started complaining about his little baby pinky. You know how many people will give a million dollars for that little baby pinky? Yeah. They cut that thing off. Welcome to the Boxing Dilemma. Today, we're diving into the debate of whether modern fighters have become too soft compared to the grit of past champions. Let's explore. They don't even allow these to th today. They don't even allow these today because they're so dangerous. They're, but that's what they used when I did the film. They're barely six ounces. They're rares and they're literally lethal. <laughs> so I still have them because it's a time when people were tougher. Sorry, they were. Uh, life is just getting a little easier and easier and easier. And oh, that's great. It's wonderful, but it's not. I think when we force ourselves into tough situations, that's what the human creature is supposed to do. They're not supposed to have wheels on their suitcases. They're not supposed to have lawnmowers with engines that pull them along. It's a convenience, no question. But it just makes things easier. Now with AI, you can literally put your brain in a pickle jar and have that machine do it. So I, I cherish these moments, I cherish hard work, even though I hate it, I know. It's like, hmm, strong medicine. It tastes horrible going down, but it makes you feel better. In the old days, fighters had it tough. They fought more, they fought longer rounds, and they fought in dire environments where every victory meant survival. Take Marvin Hagler, for example, it took him 51 fights to win a world title. He fought tooth and nail for every opportunity. But now, with multiple titles per division, it's easier to become a champion. Fighters like Charles Martin can get a big payday without facing the same challenges as past champions. When Muhammad Ali shocked the world, he had to beat a legit all-time great in Sonny Liston for the belt. If there was only one title, would Martin have won a world title? Probably not. But that doesn't mean boxing has gone soft. The nature of boxing has always been to fight through adversity. Just look at Timothy Bradley, who fought on despite being unconscious. Bradley, a big heart, a big heart and a big determination to not let go in a fight. He'll find a way to win. I mean, he, bought, he fought uh, Miguel Angel Vasquez with a broken rib in the second round. After the last bell was over, he collapsed in the corner, took him straight to the hospital, and he fought, 12, fought 10 rounds with a broken rib. With Pacquiao, he fought with a broken ankle. I mean, with, with Bravandica, he was concussed. He didn't remember nothing in the fight. The following day, he didn't know what happened. He didn't even know, did I win or lose? I don't know. Or Floyd Mayweather whose work ethic is legendary. Some days he'll come in the gym and he'll get he'll get a little frustrated at Roger because Roger won't allow him to go, you know, the rounds that he wants to, to go. I've been around the great ones. I mean, I've seen the Sugar Ray Lynch train, the Larry Holmes, the Mike Tysons. I've never, never seen a fighter train like him. He a freak to train. He loves to train. I know if another guy's working 10 rounds on the bag, I got to work 30 rounds on the back. If he's boxing 10 rounds in the gym, I got to box 17 rounds in the gym. I always got to outdo the person that's on my left and the person that's on my right. Today, it's easier to make money and win titles, but true greatness is still about overcoming obstacles and what a boxer achieves, the victories they obtain. Whether it's Sugar Ray Robinson, Henry Armstrong, or Floyd Mayweather, greatness transcends eras. It's about the challenges you overcome and the legacy you leave behind. It's fair to acknowledge that the game has become safer and the capitalist structure means more money is made. However, in the 21st century, with many opportunities for work, men still choose to do battle in the ring. This suggests that soft is not an accurate word to describe boxers of today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Boxing, where greatness never goes out of style.